Irwin County versus Clinch County was originally scheduled to be played on September 25th. At that point in the season, both teams were undefeated. Due to weather, the game got moved to Friday for our Week 10 Game of the Week. Now, only one team has an unblemished record, the Irwin County Indians. Friday night, the Panthers are hoping to pounce back in a big way after a 30-point loss to Brooks County. Here is the Parker Chevrolet Game of the Week. We got to bounce back because we better bounce back because we're playing another juggernaut Friday night in, in our Coach Holiday and the Irwin County Indians. This may be Coach Dickerson's second go round, but he's no stranger to the team from Osceola. Dickerson is seven and seven against the Indians, four and seven in the regular season, and three for three when it counts the most in state championships. Back from 15 until I retired, obviously we practiced for Irwin County every week uh, because we knew that that uh, they were the team that we were going to 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 have to to play for the region championship and and probably for a state title and and um, they hadn't fell off any i can tell you they're still right where they were before i retired they, they hadn't slipped at all the indians are off to the best start of coach Soliday's tenure it started with getting a win over the guys from fitzgerald now they're rolling with a 7-0 record averaging 49 points per game we have certain goals that we that we set three or four goals and we talk about those goals and, and you know uh, one of them is winning a non-region schedule and one of them is winning the region and then one of them is you know going deep in the playoffs win the region check the road to a region title continues friday night against a team much like themselves a team that's got the majority of their offense on the ground the indians are averaging 311 rush yards and five rushing touchdowns per game the Panthers averaged 268 yards on the ground per game. The offense is led by quarterback Aaron Bryant, who has rushed for over 700 yards and 10 touchdowns. Coach Soliday says his team must be on the lookout for more than just the rush attack. Uh, well, they can throw it uh, better than what people think they can. They got uh, a couple of receivers that are tall and fast and, and, and that, and the quarterback throws it pretty well. So. You can't give them a lot of help in the secondary because you've got to spend a few, you got to use a couple of your guys up there to try to make sure that you're containing the quarterback. So, uh, you know, you end up with a lot of one on one type stuff in the, in, in the back end. And uh, our, that's what we worked on all this week is, is trying to just uh, stay with those guys and, and you know, and uh, be get as much pressure to the quarterback and cut his time down. Coach Dickerson isn't drawing up anything special to take down the Indians. He's looking for his team to make routine plays Friday night. We got to fly to the football and we got to gang tackle and we got to tackle well. Uh, that's what it all comes down to. It's still just a game of blocking and tackling and, and we got to we got to do a good job of that. We got to get a lot of hats around the football. You know, obviously that first go around that we was excited about playing it and I think Clinch was excited about playing it and we've got moved. Ain't nothing changed. It's it's a it's a big rivalry between two good teams and and uh, it, it'll be just like that. Uh, Friday night. Aaron and myself will be live from Peck's Place tomorrow at 3 p.m. talking all the matchups from Friday night. I'll be live with Coach Soliday at 5.30 and again at 6 with Coach Dickerson. And as always, don't forget to tune into the locker room report starting at 11 o'clock p.m.